of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings of peace from Manila, Philippines, here in the National Shrine of our Mother of Perpetual Health. Brothers and sisters, our readings today will invite us all to reflect on the overflowing generosity and mercy of God. This mercy saved us all. Without this mercy, I believe all of us is already condemned on the eternal fire of hell. In our first reading today from the book of Chronicles, there it was described the people of Judah as unfaithful people before the eyes of God. And even the Lord, our God, sent His own messenger, prophets, and even allowing people to experience difficulties and struggles just to remind them of the generosity of God. But all of this failed, my brothers and sisters. But the promise of God and His mercy is overflowing and is always there for the people. And in the appointed time when King Cyrus, the king of Persia, arose into power, then the temple was restored and the people were allowed to go back in their land to praise and worship God. In the second reading, my brothers and sisters, from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, this mercy, my brothers and sisters, is personified in the person of Jesus Christ, our Lord. At first, we are all worthy to die because of our weaknesses and sins, but Jesus Christ, because of His flowing, overflowing mercy, He embraced that weaknesses, that sins on the cross. And that is why we are all saved. By that act of embracing on the cross, that is a powerful witness of the mercy and message of God which is His love and mercy for us. In our Gospel today, my brothers and sisters, it was narrated the experiences of Nicodemus and Jesus. We all know that Nicodemus is one of the leader of the prophets and considered also as one of uh, the secret uh, followers of Christ. Every evening, he, uh, he find ways to meet Jesus. And in their, in their encounters, my brothers and sisters, Jesus expressed and says to Nicodemus that there is that overflowing mercy of God. There is that new rebirth in this new water and uh, new spirit in Christ. And that, that is also a, a prefiguration, my brothers and sisters, that new water and the Holy Spirit is a, a prefiguration of that, uh, that whole Pascal mystery the death, the birth, the death, and uh, the crucifixion and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. In that uh, Paschal mystery, my brothers and sisters, God is showing to us His mercy and love. Here in the Philippines, there is a very well-known song, For God to Love the World. It was used uh, during the visit of Pope, uh, the late uh, Pope uh, St. John Paul II in, uh, in Manila in 1996 during the World Youth Day and even used during the visit of Pope Francis in the Philippines. For God so loved the world that He gave us His only begotten Son. Again, that is a powerful message and witness to all of us that it is not our own merit. It, not, it is not our own act. It is through the mercy of God. This act is through the mercy of God because that overflowing love and mercy in, in His heart to save us. And that is a powerful message for us in this reading today, my brothers and sisters. And of course, the invitation of the Lord to reflect also that in spite of this uh, free uh, light, no? free life and salvation, still sad to say people remain in darkness why because they want to hide their sins but in spite of this god will not stop will not stop to show his mercy and to show his love and to show his saving act to the people and that is why the invitation of the lord for us today is to look up on the cross like the one happened during the time of Moses in the desert, 
when the serpent was mounted on, on the wood on, on that wood and people uh, looked up and uh, those who uh, who look up on that serpent on the on that wood then they experience healing same with Jesus Christ he is mounted on the cross lifted up on the cross when we look unto him then we will experience that healing not only by physical body but also spiritual healing and we will receive light and most of all we will receive the mercy and the salvation of God in our life and of course the invitation of the Lord for us in this experience of looking up that is also a missionary call for us my brothers and sisters God is reminding us that when we look up to Christ we look down why because that is the invitation to look to look also for our brothers and sisters that is a missionary call that experience of of new light that experience of overflowing mercy of God that experience of new life and new salvation from the Lord on the cross we will going hopefully to share that as our mission to those people who are still in darkness those experience experiencing injustice those who are poor those abandoned those who are sick especially during this time pandemic of COVID-19 around the world in our own best way my brothers and sisters we could share and express that new light that new life that new salvation uh, we experience from the Lord so this is the invitation and our prayer that after this reflection after this message of the Lord for us we go out in our comfort zones bringing that experience with us that overflowing mercy of God in us that experience of new light new life new baptism in Jesus we will share that to the most abandoned to those in need in our society again may to the good Lord and to the intercession or matter of perpetual help will enlighten us so as to share that experience, that fresh experience of that overflowing of God, to share that also to our brothers and sisters in our own best way and in our own best context. Again, greetings of peace here in the Philippines. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.